Hi, everybody. It's James Sabalski for EA Sports. Well, these two fan bases just can't get enough, and they're going to get more with game number five tonight. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Kravitz has it in the defensive end. And he's taken down the officials are signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. Oh, that's a tough way to start a game. I get it. The adrenaline's flowing, and sometimes you're just a little too over-aggressive. game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. A little crash and a banging forces the turnover. And a successful clearing attempt. The Wings will play it in their own end. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Moves it quickly over to Adams. They score! And they convert with the main advantage. Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage. And the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Kalamazoo's efforts pay off as they get the game's first goals. We inch closer to the midway mark of the first. Yeah, and they're inching closer and closer to more goals here as they get the first one of the game. And sometimes scoring is a struggle, James. But when you put one by the tender, often it comes in bunches. Fires it into the offensive zone. And he takes the dish. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. There's a chance in front. Lemieux's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head in focus in the game. More than half the period left to play. Kalamazoo's up one zip. The Wings win it in the defensive zone. Quick feed to McDonald. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a short pass to McDonald. And that's blocked in traffic. Receives the pass. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Kalamazoo's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Coming to the slot. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Into the off 
offensive zone. They dump it in and get off for a breather. Keeps possession on the play. And the broken stick changes directions of the puck. Toledo's got it along the wall. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Quick pass to Bradford. What the stop. He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. He's not happy with this goal, James. It looks like he thought he was sealed to the post, but there was just enough room to let that puck slide by. the draw they win the face off moves it to Morgan Kalamazoo's on the attack and that's took away by Denoni the walleye have the puck in their own zone pokes it away in his own end the wings will play it from the defensive zone Kalamazoo's got the puck against the half wall Gives him nothing in front. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. More than half the period has expired. The Wings have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Craigs plays it now. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Handles the puck at the point. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. And momentum on their side as they win the drop here inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked away. Puck gets loose, we'll get some flow again here. Turned aside with the glove by Lemieux. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Toledo's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Poked away in the offensive end. Wrist shot from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Toledo's won the draw and they'll go to work. The wings have it now. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. And he slides it quickly to Morrison. Rips it from the blue line. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Sends a pass over. Big save. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Here in the late going of the frame, and it's a tune-up in hockey game. Toledo's won it, now they'll go on the attack. And he takes the pass. Kalamazoo's got it along the wall. Huge steal in his own end. Nice poke check. Kalamazoo's got it in their own zone. Great poke check on the reach. Geraldo's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And let's see what the call is. The Wings are going to serve two for tripping here. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, Dan. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. And now it's grabbed by Kalamazoo. Shuts him down. Puck's 
slid down the ice. Looking to break out here on the power play. Toledo's got it in their own zone. Handles the pass. And that's deflected off someone in front. We got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Walleye have been handed a two-minute penalty for cross-checking. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Kalamazoo is looking to break out of their own end. Moves it quickly over to Sajid. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck, that's ugly. Sawchuck's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Toledo's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Both teams back to even strength and after giving up a short-handed goal, it's an opportunity the power play unit would probably sooner forget. When the PKA unit goes out there, they do their best to stop the other team from scoring. Not usually do they get one. I know that I never did in my career. If you are the holder of the winning ticket, please take it to our customer service kiosk at section 144 on the concourse before the end of tonight's game to claim your prize. And thank you for supporting minor league hockey in your community. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Toledo's had the puck a ton in that opening frame, James. That's exactly what you want if you're the coach. You want to manage the puck. You want to own it in the offensive zone. They did just that. They just weren't able to convert. They find themselves trailing by one. If they can trust the process, they'll find their way back into this game. Here's a shot. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Kalamazoo's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Wings have it now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Toledo's gained possession along the boards. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Kalamazoo's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Lots of time left in this period. Kalamazoo's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And that goes off a stick. Pushes it across to Barovo. Carries it across the line. Devastating hit, and what a jolt of energy for the bench, too. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. From the point, looks to make something happen. Scores! And look at that, the rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. Well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Got to give some credit to the shooter here, James, for finding the hole, and that hole is low glove side. I think that the goaltender, he wants this one back. The Wings are enjoying things in twos. Here in period number two, they've gone up by two, Cheryl. There's been a lot of twos, James, and they'd love to get another couple goals to really pad the stats and increase their lead. But right now, it's about habits and not giving their opponent any life in this game. Passes the puck over to McGrath. Shot! back of 
of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Walleye have looked out of this one for the most part, but suddenly they're right back into it after that strike. They're able to cut their deficit in half, and they've stayed the course, James. The ability to be hard on the puck, focus. They're pushing hard to get the equalizer. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Morrison. Shot. Monster blocker stopped by Pitnar. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Tremendous hit into the boards, and that's a finishing play. That one misses, and will play on. So much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you gotta find the back of the net at the very least. Hit it, James. Here's a chance to the middle. Oh, wins the ball. Takes the feed at the point, and he takes the feed. That opportunity is rejected. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Toledo still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Passes it over to Craigs. He carries the puck up along the wing. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Pettinar. Kalamazoo's won the faceoff. And he takes a shot. Oh, what a blocker stop by Pettinar. Slides the puck up from the left side. The Wings gain possession. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Looking to set up offensively. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Takes the feed behind his own net. Kalamazoo's got a hold of it against the wall. The Wings have it from their own end. Redekop stick handling in his own zone. Makes a move in front. Gives up the body for the block. Toledo's moving it along the wing. Slip feed. Taken by Sorensen. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Across the line, down the left wall. Pittner's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Here in the back half of this period, the Wings are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. And off the draw, they win possession. Kalamazoo's got the puck along the wall. For the loose oh, Well, you said it, counter punch. You know the coach is going to love this, this quick, timely response. When you look down your bench, you got to know that there's personnel that can go out there and provide some energy for your team. They just did it. Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. Kalamazoo's extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two-goal cushion here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The Walleye have put themselves down a man tripping the call. I really 
like them working off the 1-3-1 one, one sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. The wings scooping up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Adams. The wings carry it along the wall. Here's a shot. Oh, to Marisol with the paddle save. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. One last rush here on this power play. A strong penalty killing performance on that one as both teams are now back to even strength. Wow, that power play really wasn't effective at all, James. The coach won't be happy. A lot of possession time, but it correlated to nothing. You have to create some motion and be quick to be able to open up scenes and lanes to the net. The Wings came into this one with one thought on mind. Lots of pucks to the net, and they continue to lead here late in the second. Takes the puck at the point. Driving right to the front. Turns it away. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Late goings go of this period. It's 4-2. Keenan's won it in their own end. Picked up along the board by McCourt. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The Wings are getting two minutes for tripping. play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work they haven't scored yet in the game on the power play but no need to get frustrated they all bring a different skill set it's the reason why they're out there grabs the puck here in their own end oh a quick little pickpocket on the play the walleye have possession along the boards pilo's got it deep in the offensive end trying to get back on the attack now It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you. Great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Kalitos won the draw in the neutral zone. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Blocked in front. Here he is, wrestling on net. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out. Grabbed along the board by Barogo. Up along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. Toledo's got one back here in late in period number two. Now, can they even things up? They need to get the equalizer, and the best way to do it is stay connected as a five-player unit. They did real well in that scenario, in that last sequence, to get that goal. They'll need to continue where they left off. And they're in the final minute of the second. And it's knocked off the puck there. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Kalamazoo's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Strong feed from along the boards. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too.
Every playoff game, our team store brings you our item of the game. Stay warm and stylish here at the rink with a scarf tonight priced at just $10. Make sure to stop off at any team store here in the arena, pick up your specially priced item of the game. Our scarf tonight is just $10. Hurry as the Players are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Toledo's trailing in this game because they haven't managed the puck, and they've been cheating offensively. When you're not in good position, you're not supporting the puck carrier, and it goes the other way, you're in trouble. Lemieux's going to hang on for a whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Kalamazoo's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Sajans won a big draw on their own end. And he takes the feed. With possession along the wall. Fires it on net. Just wide. Grabs possession of the puck. Slides it over with pace to Barogo. On the attack along the boards. Fires it. And thump is turned aside. Slides the puck over. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Toledo's got the puck. Feeds the puck to Propovesis. Moves behind the net. Quick pass to McGrath. And officials right on top of that one, calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead, now they're protecting it. Toledo's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. A power play that can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Lemieux's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and coach can get the right personnel out there. Toledo's got the puck along the wall. What a close save by Lemieux. McDonald's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Kalamazoo's going to start with the puck in their own end. The Wings move the puck in the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. Loose puck battle along the boards. And he coughs it up with the pass. Huge stop by Bednar. Moves the puck. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Moves it. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Sajans gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Some tassels won the draw and they'll look to set up. Good habits, and they're back to evens. Well, this is a beautiful one-timer shot that's going to beat the goaltender, but how about the offensive zone face-off? I mean, just winning that puck directly back. I mean, no one can react off of it. Toledo's not messing around. Look at that effort in the offensive zone, and as a result, they're tied up. And that's been their playground today, but they just haven't been able to convert until now where they get the equalizer. You can see the opportunities that they've had, and finally, they take advantage. Some tassels won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Puts it on net. Can't get it to go. The Wings gain possession along the wall. As set of ice now, he grabs the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Kalamazoo's got possession here in the offensive zone. Denied that one. Kalamazoo's got the puck against the boards. Santazzo's moving it ahead. Forces the turnover. 
Kalamazoo's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. Morgan's got the puck. What a great read breaking up the pass. Passes up ahead from the left wing. The wings have it against the wall. Dishes it to Sajan. Picked up along the wall by Morgan. Moves it quickly over to Beraldo. Across the line from center. Here's a chance! Oh, what a stop by Lemieux! Scoops up the puck here. Into the attacking end. The Walleye have taken possession along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Battling for it along the boards. Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. Past the midway mark of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. Nice job tying up his opponent. Looks for breakout options behind his own cage. Kalamazoo's got the puck in the defensive end. The wings played along the wing. Oh, pokes it away. Gutsy move, but it pays off. The wings gain control of the puck. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front. Goaltender can't find it. And guess what? It's in the back of the cage. Kalamazoo's got to be feeling confident right now with the time remaining, Cheryl. Up one with that kind of time remaining. You know you got the game in your hands, but you have to be able to close it out. You know how you do that? You find a way to get the puck, and you have to manage it. Steps inside the line. Blocked in traffic. Quick feed down low. Quick feed to Morrison. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Bittner's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. The Wings win it. There's a shot. Pressure with the stick. Craig's plays the puck. There he is, shot right in front. And that's blocked from someone in front. Kalamazoo's got a hold of the puck. A chance in front. Pitner's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. A critical draw here. Toledo's got it in the defensive zone. Here they come. Takes a shot. Scores! And a big time goal here in the third. Even things up. Well, there wasn't much wiggle room left, James, but they found a way to put it in, and that's because of the full court press that they've exhibited in this third period. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. The Walleye have made this a hockey game and an exciting one at that here in the third. We're coming down right to the wire, and this one's been so exciting, James, but a great job to get it back to evens. They just kept pushing all game long. Now the coach has got to put their goal scorers out there and play for the win. Pino's got it against the boards. Oh, and the puck clears the soul. They'll be forced to do this one over. Toledo's looking to break out. Picking up some steam at center ice. Quick shot. That's blocked. Slides it diagonally to Bradford. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot. And there's the save. I'm not sure how we saw. Here's a chance! Oh, I think he might 
confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke, and while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a tie game. Some tassels won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. And he makes that save as well. Lemieux's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Redekops moving the puck through his own zone. Tries to feed it over to Morgan. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Here's a shot, and that's off the club and will play on. Redekops taking it from his own end. The wing's looking against the half wall. Toledo's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a short pass to Beraldo. Slides the puck over to Keenan. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Taken along the wall by Sajin. The wings played along the boards. Shot! Quick stop by Bednar. Handles the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Fans screaming for a shot as the clock winds down. Here we go. Break away. And that one doesn't go. What a save! Well, the goalie makes a huge save at a critical point in the game. But for the shooter, you have to find a way to convert as you run down the stretch. should tell us who wins and who loses, and they're ready to get it underway. All right, it is nail-biting time. We are underway with overtime. Shot! And makes a save. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Kalamazoo's won it, now they'll go on the attack. The wings take it along the wall. Toledo's got possession of the puck. The Walleye have taken possession in their own end. Back to the point it goes. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Quick pass to Redekop. Sends the pass over. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. And he slides it quickly to Morgan. Coughs it up on the play. The Walleye have the puck against the boards. Takes the pass. Shot. And he makes the easy save. Kalamazoo's looking to break out of their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. And it's a quick pass to Adams. The Wings will play it in their own end. Handles a great feed here in the neutral zone. Kalamazoo's got a hold of it along the wall. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Morrison. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And that's knocked away. Scooped up along the wall by McCourt. Dished on over to Keenan. 
Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Kalamazoo's gained possession along the boards. Poked away at center by McCourt. Toledo's got it in their own zone. Here's a chance in front, and it's blocked. The Wings gain possession. Want some open space at center. Grabs the puck. Big time stuck by Bednar. I love the save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Good night.